Hi, this is Mo Volans for Tuts Plus with Subtractive Synthesis Basics. Uh, these are a series of quick tips, although we've probably strayed away from the basics by now. Um, and we started with FabFilter 1, we went on to uh, Diva uh, and to look at some more classic effects. And now I'm in Logic's ES2, but it really doesn't matter which synth I'm in, I'm just in virtual analog synthesizers. We've been looking at the mod matrix in the ES2, and I wanted to show you a quick tip on using multiple modulators and modulating them with each other. Um, this may sound a little complicated, but really all this means is you can do things like speed up LFOs with envelopes. So it's almost uh, an alternative to, to using automation, um, but it can all be done internally and be saved within one single patch, which is quite nice. So I've just got a couple of things set up in the mod matrix. Again, we're using the mod matrix for this. Um, we've got cut off two as the target, which is this, and we've got our source is LFO one. So if I turn this up, you're gonna hear some modulation uh, being taking place on the filter. And without, it's just a straight saw wave. Now, obviously, as it is, we can change the rate uh, just very simply by moving the rate control in LFO1. And as I said, we could always automate this or we could even put it on the mod wheel or whatever you want, but there's quite a cool thing you can do with envelopes. So in the second slot here, I've got LFO1 rate as the target. So that would be this control that we were just playing with. And the source is envelope two, which is this envelope here. And we were using this previously for filter uh, modulation, but right now um, it's being assigned to this LFO1 rate. So let's turn that up and see what happens. Now you can hear it speed up and then slow down, and that's because I've got the attack time up and there's some decay time in there as well. If I turn the decay time up and bring the attack down, it'll speed up faster and should stay up there. Let's put the sustain on as well. So, and if we go higher with the amount of modulation, it should go from slower to faster. So let's go max and let's speed the whole thing up slightly. Now, at the minute, there's no release on the whole thing, but if I put release, this is controlling the amplifier, by the way. So if I've got some release on the amplifier and I match it more or less, and I let go, you hear it slow down as it fades out. So you can see that we can actually control the rate of the LFO using the envelope. And there's plenty of spare envelopes in here. Most synths that you know move beyond the single oscillator will have at least two envelopes. Some of them have got three, they've got a mod envelope, and that's perfect for this sort of thing. So if you want to have that more expressive LFO thing going on, and you want maybe patches that evolve over time, it's really good if you, you know, use a pad, if you're making a pad, and you have these little touches in there that over a long chord uh, progression things sort of change the LFO speed or vibrato maybe or panning changes over time and you could create that really organic pad patch it can work very nicely so hopefully this has uh, given you a bit of insight and into how to make uh, modulators interact in this way using the mod matrix uh, and then you know we're going to look at more advanced techniques as we move through subtractive synthesis basics which is starting to become um, probably the wrong name so I'm probably going <laughs> to change it up and maybe make it intermediate or something like that but um, if you want to see any specific tips please let me know if there's any specific synths you'd like to see me using uh, also let me know comments are always welcome uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time